set the scene. Jordan and I on a great quest. Got back from Mavericks the day before yesterday. Had a nice day of rest yesterday. And today we decided to scramble, get tested again, and go to Jaws for tomorrow, Thursday. Big paddle day, really good conditions. Um, the winds were a little funky, but they got lighter. Rest day Friday, and then we're looking at Saturday, what looks to be the biggest Jaws ever. Um, huge, huge meter and period. Looking at it, on Minguru, it says like 5.3 meters at 19 seconds, which is massive. And then um, the next day, Sunday, really light winds, perfect for paddle. Saturday, I don't know what our goal is, I'm bringing a tow board. Um, if they're just moving too fast to paddle, we'll get on the rope and tow some, so that should be really fun. We've only towed one at a time out there. Hopefully you guys watched that video with the legendary Kai Lenny, partnered up and had a big tow day, which was super fun. So I'm still gonna get back out there and tow if we do. Um, but this episode you're watching will probably just be our big paddle day Thursday, tomorrow, and looking to be 15 to 20 foot good conditions so it's nice to go over there for a run of swell for once and you can get a warm-up into the, the next swells usually it's just kind of a shock you have that only that day to get used to the big swells um, but this winter has been crazy we've had a big swell like every other week so um, we're, we're definitely warmed up and ready for this one got our nine eights gonna look to get some paddle barrels tomorrow head to the airport Take a flight over there, booked our little Airbnb, and it's looking good. It's not looking good for our uh, fatigue, but it's just looking good for uh, the barrels we're gonna get at Jaws, so. We salute you. We salute you, airport, where we now live. Also, shout out to the shirt they got me. Buy the fucking dip. Buy the dip anytime, every time. This is the best shirt. Best in the world. I'm the best boss in the world. It's confirmed. Wait, wait where's the party? Uh, you want to drop everything off first? Yes. Terminal 1, Hawaiian. Is that what we're playing? Nate loves to decide right before the barriers on which way he wants to go. Don't ever tell him to take a turn last minute. He'll just come to a complete stop and still go the People wrong way. People tell me I'm really good at driving. I've been told that by most of my friends. Except for me. Except for most of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to see a magic trick? I've been taking on that. But watch this. You can make us land in three, two, one. Successful magic land. Let's set the scene once again with a pre-Jaws super nutritious meal. High in essential carbohydrate nutrients. These are complex carbs. They're gonna feed you vitamins, no diabetes. You have proteins, rich, healthy proteins like pepperoni, there's plants involved, we're talking mushrooms, there's an onion on that one, fruit, vitamin C, there's pineapple, goat cheese, different animal sources, and tomatoes, of course, the main vegetable in pizza. And... Oh. Hmm. I can feel all that nutrient hitting right now. Insane. Guys, new angle alert. We're thinking. So I'm gonna try this for a while. It's behind angle, so you get the steepness of the drops. If you guys ever need to check angles and board mounts, you just connect your phone. And then you set the GoPro and you see what the GoPro is seeing. So that shows me that this is pretty perfect for me. You can see my feet.
You could probably see the barrel angle would be psycho. The steepness of the drop would be psycho. We're gonna try it tomorrow. Boom, guys, just got to the harbor. Um, me, Landon, Ari, heading out on the boat. Boat is solid, big, nice big boat. Got all our snacks, drinks, and gear. I'm suiting up here, um, nice. And then we'll see what the channel brings. We'll be getting light here pretty soon, so um, hopefully we get some bombs and it's looking good as soon as we get out there. So we'll be filling in, so we'll be getting bigger all day. Roger. <laughs> The promised land. Good thing it's got a nice wind on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good for airdrops. Try to do the tail mount here. Get the GoPro set up in the back to get a different angle looking up at the board. Yeah. It didn't work out too well. Uh, we lost the GoPro on the first wave, one big wipeout. This time, we're going nose mount. <laughs> drink water. Drink, drink, drink water, boy, and we go back. Oh, let's drink water now. Herb.
what's happening here? <laughs> Guys, imagine this, a return to land after a 10 hour day on the boat. Zord, 10 hours on the freaking cliff, representing, holding it down for the land mammals. We're out there, aquatic creatures. I'm an aquatic creature too. Zord may also be an aquatic you creature. You landlock me. <laughs> You're a land lover. Anyway, Jaws today, big and windy. Got a big one in the morning. Made it to the bottom, testing out my new full grip board. Testing out the Testing movie. out my epic freaking tail mount GoPro. And I look up and I say, what the who today? Huge ass lip coming down at me. Giant chandelier. So what I do, oh, is that a Bitcoin? I dove off my board. Chasing lobsters. Somehow escaped the main chandelier, got under, sucked over. As I was getting sucked over, I inflated. Made it to the service, didn't get too worked, but the second wave, no such luck, got quite, quite a hold down on the second wave. Um, and, and sadder news, rest in peace GoPro. The tail mount I knew was a risk, because I knew if the leash hooked on it, it would take the GoPro. That's exactly what happened. I lost the GoPro. I had a little leash connected to it, to another mount. The leash snapped, so GoPro is perished at Jaws. I've now lost two GoPros to Jaws. Really wanted to see that what that um, tail mount angle would have looked like. So that's a bummer. Maybe we'll give it a go. If Kyle and he can, I asked him if he could borrow a GoPro. He said that I could. I only have one left for the ship. We have two more big Jaws days. My goodness. Epic day either way. We did some freaking hilarious filming for Etienne and his movie he's working on. Other than that, the wind got too strong. I just paddled in. I was gonna do some towing, but I just decided to save it, wait for the, the evening sesh to glass off. That didn't happen. We just ended up cooking it out on the boat. Um, but it was fun. We were there. We were there in case it happened. It just didn't happen. Now we're back. We're going to get some food. Um, hope you enjoyed the freaking episode. We have two more massive days of Jaws. Tomorrow, rest day. Saturday, biggest ever. Biggest since I've been surfing big waves. I believe Jaws will be the biggest we have ever surfed it since we started paddling. Our generation, I mean. The older guys, Derek Dorner and Laird and them, they all know what this kind of swell entails. We do not. So even Kai Lenny today told me, I haven't surfed Jaws or towed Jaws on a swell of this size. So it'll be interesting what happens on Saturday, a huge period. Big shout out to freaking Ray, our Airbnb, Airbnb rental unit we got off of Airbnb from Ray. It's called Ray's Airbnb. Maui, Paia, epic little zone, close to Jaws, close to the harbor, close to the food. Remember that one time we headed to Jaws for a week and we said we were going for a warm up day? Huh? And we ended up pulling three canisters with <laughs> two horrendous wipeouts. Ideally, we would have gotten them out of the way for the next two days.